Uh, hi everyone, this is Ryan Selby. Uh, so during our meeting today, there was a discussion that I was having with David and Omar about using the Ram cannula on the Neopuff for transportation. And the discussion was centered around whether or not the Ram could actually provide a consistent peep and pip, or pip over peep. Then I was arguing that if you got a large enough RAM with 100% occlusion, you should be able to do it. And David and Omar were saying uh, there would be a considerable drop in both PIP and PEEP uh, for transportation. So I said I would go ahead and try to recreate it on the Baby Live. And I just have done that. I'm gonna show you what happened. And bottom line up front is Omar and David were totally right and I was totally wrong. So let's take a look and see what's happening, and I'll show it to you right now. So let me orient your attention to what's going on. I have my baby live going. I have my baby hooked up to a bubble CPAP system using the flexi trunk. I just wanted to get a baseline of what five centimeters of water pressure would look like, so we had something to base it off of. So we have our five centimeters of water pressure. I have my iPad here so that you guys can clearly see it. Um, and we're setting our flow and get our five centimeters. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Neo Puff. We take off our bubble CPAP. Let me go ahead and turn this down. Oop. Let me go ahead and stop this real quick so we get a, a reading. My mistake. We got a reading and let's stop. Okay, so we got a baseline. Turn this off. Bring in the Neo Puff. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my pressure. So I want a pip of 20 and a peep of five. So I'm gonna set my flow and these tricky little blowers that we have, you have to mess with it a little bit to get it just right. But we want a 20 over five. So I have a pip now. You guys can see that here on my left. I have a pip now of 20, and when I release, I have a peep, I'm gonna adjust my peep cap, of five. So I have a, a pip of 20 over five. So 20 over five, pip of 20, peep of five. Let's go ahead and put that onto the baby and see if we can duplicate that on the baby live. So we'll take off the bubble CPAP interface. Take out the pacifier since we're gonna be using the mask first. So I wanna use a mask because we know that the mask works with the Neopuff. It's designed to work with the Neopuff. And so we can have another baseline with that. I got a nice seal, hit new. And right off the bat, if you can see this okay, we're getting a CPAP of five. So it reads five on my Neopuff as a peep of five and it reads five here on my iPad or the baby live. So during transportation, sometimes you need to resuscitate a baby, which is why they use a Neopuff during transportation. So let's go ahead and breathe. So we should get a pip and have it jump up to 20. So we're doing breathe two, three, breathe two, three, and look at that, beautiful. Goes 20 over five, exactly what I dialed in. And when I look at my Neopuff, it is matching exactly to what's on the screen of my iPad, which is a 20 over five. And you can see the lung on the baby live is also moving. So let's go ahead and stop that. Now we're gonna move over to the Ram Canyon. Now what I've chosen is I have chosen one that is 100% occlusion, because that was my argument this morning, is that 100% occlusion should work. And because these blowers are a little bit weird, we're gonna make sure that we get a 20 over five. So we have 20 over five with the Ram cannula. I have it occluded, everything looks good. I have 100% occlusion, I'm gonna hold that in place on the baby's nose. We're gonna create a new, and if you look down here, my peep is three. Let's see if we can adjust that because that's kind of a glare right there. But there is a peep of three right down here. So that's the green line, which is 
not matching my Neopuff. My Neopuff is still reading five. So if I was a care provider, I'd be like, Okay, that's working, I've got five. It says so on the Neopup, but the baby's actually getting three. And then when I resuscitate, breathe two, three, breathe two, three. Remember I had it set to 20 over five. It's only resuscitating at 12 over three. So I'm getting a pip of 12 over three mechanically in the lung of the baby. When I look at the Neopuff, the Neopuff is telling me, well, you're actually giving the baby 16 over five. So as a care provider, that is the only way the information that I'm getting. I'll go, well, it dropped a little bit. There might be a leak. I need to give this baby 20 because the doctor wants me to give him 20. I'm going to cheat a little bit, which some people do. So we're going to cheat and we're going to increase the flow a little bit. And now we're at 20 over 5. Okay, we're back in. But if I look at internally what's going in the baby, in my mechanical baby, I've only, even though I increased that to 20, I'm still only getting 15 over 3. 15 over 3. So my PIP has dropped by 5, and my PEEP has dropped by 2. That's less than what I want to give the baby. Now, what happens if the baby doesn't have a pacifier? And I want to show this because when we use cannulas, oftentimes pacifiers or chin straps aren't used. So we're going to take that out. And we're gonna leave it like this. And as soon as we take the pacifier out, my Neopuff still says CPAP of five. But the baby is actually getting zero because of the mouth leak. And when I occlude, I'm getting about two and a half on the PIP. So I occlude at two and a half and I'm getting zero. But if I was a care provider, and I'm getting only my information from Neopuff. Neopuff is saying, oh, 12 over five again. Oops, that's not what the doctor wanted. Doctor wanted 20 over five. I'm gonna cheat a little bit, increase a little bit of flow. Okay, that's looking a lot better. My Neopuff is now telling me 18 over, or 20 over five. I'm happy with that. But again, when we look at what's going on internally in the lungs of the baby down here on the green, with a chin strap or a uh, pacifier not there, it's only two and a half over zero, which is nothing. Very interesting, um, great discussion. Thank you, Omar and David, and I hope this was helpful. Talk to you all later.